You know, I think that uh, in the morning, there's yeah. a shot from here. I strongly believe in the power of psychic connection between two genuine friends. When we are shooting, we are perfectly in tune. We speak the language of composition, light, color balance, and other subtleties. This is the reason why Greg and I love working together. The similarities we have are that photography is not only a career, it's our passion. We also take time to appreciate the beauty of life while we shoot. One thing that I learned from him is that we can seek philosophy in books, but it can be put into practice when shooting photos. The way he presents images always contains intangible philosophical feelings. This is fairly hard to do because architectural shots are often of inanimate objects that don't appear to live and breathe. But he's able to coax life out of these subjects. Greg can make that happen. One of the things I really appreciate about Gene Kai is his enthusiasm. And that enthusiasm is backed up by solid talent and a true understanding of what goes into creating great shots. Because his father is a painter, he has first-hand understanding of color principles, how they complement each other or clash in a shot. That also applies to composition and shapes within the frame. I love our discussions about that when we're shooting. Gene Kai loves to laugh and have a good time. That goes a long way on shoots, because sometimes there are challenges and he has the ability to keep everything in perspective and offer solutions. He's so passionate about photography. We're on the same wavelength when it comes to that. Creating cool shots is what it's all about for us. Hello. Hi, Greg. Hi. Going to the dock over here, gotta get some gas. Okay, that sounds good. Yes, we're here. We're going to be filming, taking some pictures of some houses that were designed by the architect William Grierson. So we're very excited because we're going to be going out to an island and uh, his son Cam is just picking us up by boat. So uh, I'm looking forward to showing you these pictures once we get them done. It's our job to direct the viewer's attention to where we'd like it to go. For instance, this plane, you'll see, is actually in the back of the picture. And we decided to use it and put it on the table. We just also talked about all leading lines. So you'll notice that a lot of the props in the final shot are pointing in that direction. Um, the thing about this is really to try and use what's available at the house and make it work for us.
as photographers, we need to introduce and explain why and what is going on in those architects' minds. For example, let's take this skylight, for example, A to absorb more light here, and then this is the function of why they did this. So here we have a classic example of a screened-in porch with multiple lighting outside and inside. We're going to be doing bracketing, and you'll see the final shot will be composed of probably three to, sh three to four shots. We're at the end of our William Grierson architectural shoot and we've got very lucky. It was supposed to rain and we had beautiful days, beautiful morning light, beautiful end of day light, and at times a little cloud cover when we were shooting interior. So everything just worked out fantastic. And so I can't wait to show you the pictures. We're really looking forward to your feedback as to uh, which of these shots really resonate with you. All right. Goodbye for now. See you in the next video.